doing videos like this, oh, thirsty work, man. And it's only one way to quench your thirst. That's water or sangria. I've had my water for the day. Now I'm going to have my sangria. Ah, that's good. You know, I actually like doing more videos like this. And I think in the future, to kind of distinguish myself a little differently from everyone else, and I know it's probably annoying it's moving around a lot yeah, you know, sometimes I'll keep it still don't worry but for the, some videos it's just let's just um, let's just hang out you know let's stand up let's talk let's move around that's why I bought this thing but this is only for your cell phone this goes in the 360 motion but I'll get to that in a minute so I think we left off over here this is where we left off the meta barons right all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go over here. Let's just start on this way and work our way back over to the, finish this white shelf and then work our way back. So over here, I have my collection of uh, DVDs. You know, as a kid, I loved the Flintstones, man. So I got the Flintstones right here. I got Huckleberry Hound, the Jetsons. I got uh, Yogi Bear, and I got Bugs Bunny, Golden, Golden, what's that say, Golden Carrot Collection. Yeah, that's the best of the Bugs Bunny joints. Here's my uh, Magic Johnson Pop. Once again, inside one of these candle holder things that you put outside on your porch. This is another set of favorite uh, DVD cartoons I love. The Herculoids, Moby Dick, and the Mighty Mitor, Space Ghost, Birdman, Dick Tracy, Underdog. So that's a lot of DVDs, and this this is all, this is my this is my DVD collection. Um, let me see if I can get it to you. Let me see if I can show it to you. Okay, so my DVD collection basically consists of. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, I guess you can see it right there. See it? Yeah, yeah you can see it. My DVDs. Oh, look at that one. Saturday morning cartoons collection. That's dope. I love that one. There's, a, there's some stuff from movies there. That's my collection of movies. Let's go slow. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's see, let's see that. That Avenger series looks great, man. They should have kept that going. There's some more movies I have there. Uh oh. And just for the record, these are my all time. My all time favorites. Let's move over a little bit. Let's go a little bit over. See if we can get a little closer there. Some more DVD. Yeah, so here's my collection here. My other DVD collection. I said the rest of them. This is the Marvel DC stuff. All the cinematic movies. These are my favorite comedies. A lot of my favorite comedies. Real Science. Real Genius. Ip Man. Godfather. Jerry Lewis. Cooley High. Waiting. Office Christmas Party. Life. You know, a lot of uh, all my favorite stuff. All my favorite movies. Go all the way across there. And go all the way across the bottom. I put them across the bottom here. Hannibal. Hannibal. Um, I keep a vacuum cleaner in here. Just for cleaning the floor. See if I can get some more. Can you see those in there? There's Dune and Alienation. My favorite sci fi's. Don't know how these are going to look though, but let's see. Let's see if I can get these in there. I think I can get these in there. Let me see something. Let me see something there. Let me tell you something. Okay, let me see. Alright, so there go some movies. Yeah. Can't get it to stand up the way I want, but yeah, what the hell. Yeah, just movies, you know, Predator, 
Weapons Prometheus, the Alien series, Kong, Planet of the Apes. That's all my stuff. So, there you go. I'm a vacuum cleaner back. I know a lot of you probably already know how to clean your, your rooms pretty good. But you know, one of the key one of the key things about having one of these comic book rooms and having your stuff is keeping your room clean, you know. So just so uh, you know, let me let me let me let me let me give you some quick tips, man. Well I'll give you tips later, but no, let me give you the tip as we go along. Because it's all part of the room experience anyway. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so here's a that, right there. That's a shark vacuum. It's a portable vacuum, as you can see. It's real portable and small. It um, it has a lot of different nozzles. One of the nozzles is that I don't use because we have these laminum floors now. I don't need the bristle head for the brushes. Unless I, unless I run into a piece of rug I need to do. But for the most part, man, it comes with a nozzle. And it just pulls, it has br little brushes on it that move the dust and suck it up. It's good for dusting the floor. It's portable. This here is a portable blower. Workshop blower. I think that's important to have in every comic book room because of dust and dust bunnies. And that's good for dusting and blowing off dust off surfaces. It might land on a surface, so it comes in. It comes in a blow setting. It comes in a setting. We can go from very low to very high, so you can adjust it, and you can really get a good dusting. Another little tip that I did in my room is, if you notice about this shelf I bought here, let's take you back and give you a nice wide angle look at this shelf. If you notice anything about this shelf. It's open, you know what I'm saying? Look, it's open. So I'm able to get the, the blower nozzle behind there and move and any dust that might build up behind there on the, on the ground level comes right out, blows right on out to the front. I just move, I move some of the CDs out the way, put the blower on that end and push all the, push all the dust this way, it comes out this way, and then I'm able to suck it up with my vacuum, whatever have you. So that's good to have, okay? Keep that in mind. So you got the, 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 sh you, got the sh you got the shark, you got the shark right there, and you got the, 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 the workshop blower and the shark. Because even with these comics, right, they're not against the wall. If you can see along the rim here, let me see if I can show you this. If you can see the rim there, it has a little, a little bottom piece that sticks out. So the boxes are not flat against the wall. They're not flat against the wall. So there's, there's at least a half an inch of space back there, which will allow me to put, again, take the blower right here, right? Take this blower. Wait, excuse me a second. I take this blower, right? I line it up back there, and it, and it blows all the dirt in this direction, comes out on that end, Blows it around this end towards the door right there, and that's where I'm able to capture it with capture a, a majority of it with my vacuum cleaner. So keep a keep a portable vacuum cleaner in your in your joint. Keep a workshop blower in your in your work in your room, okay? And keep an air purifier in your room. It'll keep the dust down significantly in your uh, in your in your in your in your own uh, comic book uh, storage place. Oh, here's another tip that I use. I don't know if people use them. See those black boxes on the bottom? Those skits right here. See this? Those are skits. My boxes don't sit directly on the flat floor. No way, no way, Charlie. So, t two benefits of that. Boxes don't sit directly on the floor. And those things are built with gaps. So any dust that thinks it's going to slide under there and build and, and get trapped, it's not. The blower fits right inside the crep, a lot of the creases along there, and just moves it along, moves it along, moves it out. So nothing gets trapped underneath, all right? 
So with that being said, we're going to stop right there. And we're going to continue our tour along along this level, this door here, and the pops. Come on back. <laughs>